Let's talk about the book Kenobi by John Jackson Miller. Now, I'm not going to get deep into spoiler territory, but I will give you an overall feel for the book because I think everyone should read this book. First thing first, this is a Legends book. This comes from the Expanded Universe. It is not canon. The events of this book are not going to play directly into the Kenobi show. Um, and even if certain things are referenced, it doesn't make this book canon, right? Just want to get that right out of the way. Still, read this book. It's an amazing book. I really, really enjoyed it. In fact, when the Kenobi show was first announced, I was kind of wary because of my enjoyment of this book. That being said, want to be clear, it's not because I'm one of those, oh, canon is stealing legends and stuff. No, no, no. It's because I already have this book. And if I have this book, I can always read that book. I, 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 just, I just don't want the same story told to me twice in two different mediums because if I can get a new story, yeah, I want the new story. But let's get into it. Now, the only thing I'm really going to spoil is very light, and it's right in the very, very beginning of the book, but it sets the precedence for the entire book. The very place that it starts is in a cantina, and this is while Obi-Wan is on the way to deliver baby Luke to Owen, um, Owen and Beru Lars. Basically, he runs into a bar, and things start to get wild. He steps in. Using the force, you know, acting as a Jedi, he steps in and he solves the problem and realizes to himself, he can't do that anymore. That can't be him. His role as a Jedi has fundamentally changed. He also has to sit there and kind of mourn the loss again of, of Anakin and of his former life. He's on a new path. And I think this is a great way to indicate what he is going to experience in the show Kenobi. Now, obviously the, the TV show Obi-Wan Obi is going to be taking place 10 years after uh, the events of Revenge of the Sith. So they aren't even in the same time period, but read this book. <laughs> please, please read it. This book was also recently re-released as part of the Essentials uh, Legends Ken Ken this book was also recently re-released as one of the Legends Essential Collection. So I will leave an affiliate link if you are interested in it. You know, please, it does help out the channel. But like, just just think think about it this way. Wherever Obi-Wan goes, trouble is following because he is a Jedi. He is a problem solver. And he's now on Tatooine, which is just a, a lawless place in general. He's trying to protect the Lars, but... He knows the more he does, the more action gets drawn to them. If he stands up against Jabba the Hutt, Jabba's going to send more thugs. And all of a sudden, the Lars are going to be in danger. We do see this canonically in the um, uh, in the journal of Obi-Wan Kenobi. But you know, right in, in this book, it gets really interesting. Obi-Wan spends a lot of his time in this book just kind of ruminating and he's talking to Qui-Gon without ever actually getting a response back. But he, he knows what he has to do and he knows why he's on Tatooine and it's just a hard transition in his life. Meantime, he goes out to pick up some supplies and he ends up running into these these people, the, the Codwell people. Uh, and Annaline is... Um, is a young widow, you know, with, with a daughter who is in trouble and he helps her out. You know, Obi-Wan, he's just charismatic. Um, like nobody, uh, come on. Like not only can women not resist Obi-Wan, most men can't resist Obi-Wan. Like let's, let's be real. Let's be real. As soon as Obi-Wan comes to the rescue, automatically he's in the same position that he was trying to avoid there's attention being paid to him there's people who want to look into his past there's people who are are jealous um there are there's so many things at play you have the politics of the local people there you have this you know young widow who is looking for friendship for a companionship for someone who actually understands you have the big brutish kind of leader of this whole group you know, you have the huts in town um, and, and their thugs, but you also have the Tuscans on the other side uh, that it just complicates things. And this is really fascinating, too, because we really do get to dive deep into the culture of the Tuscans and find out, you know, what they believe, why they do what they do and what their you know rights of passage and things are. You know, finding out things that 
I don't know, may may surprise people in in the long run. Uh, we also get introduced to my favorite person, a Yark, who is a, a Tuscan warrior. She has a gem for an eye. Her name is, uh, they call her Plug Eye, and she was recently made canon in From a Certain Point of View, um, A New Hope. I hope she makes an appearance. I hope she's still around in the Obi-Wan show. Now, I may follow this up with another spoiler video because there's very little I can truly get into, you know, without actually heading into that territory. Just to highly recommend this book, to think it's it's a great read for anyone who likes the character of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, it is like there's 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 romance, there's intrigue. It's a big Western um, and and it's a Jedi who is, you know, doing penance for what he believes are his mistakes but the actions that he has to take in order to protect people help him understand his place and help strengthen him for the future so it's a fantastic book a kenobi by john jackson miller highly recommend please check it out but that's it for now i know it's a short video uh thank anyone who has made it this far please share like subscribe do all the things i really do appreciate it and may the force be with you